This is going to help wake up your glutes, help fire them up. <clears throat> I know there's a whole host of everybody doing these booty workouts um, on Instagram now, but a lot of it is just, you know, uh, filler. So this is a great... <laughs> oh, and I didn't mean to like that. I really didn't. <laughs> I didn't mean to like <laughs> You know what I'm saying, right? Welcome to Come Back with Erica Cobb, a community of folks like yourselves who are getting ready and staying ready for their next chapter. Well, I know it's a new year and everybody's talking about a new you. So I thought this was a really great time to do a comeback to renewable energy series. So basically we are taking what we already have around us, our resources, our mindsets, and we're creating our new cells because there was nothing wrong with the old one, okay? We just needed a tune-up. So my guest today is an award-winning fitness icon who has some of Hollywood's most elite celebrities on her client roster. And I am talking about Iman, Kiki Palmer, Mia Long, all my favorites. Okay, those are just a few, okay? She is also the co-founder of her own activewear company, EcoActive, which I might be wearing right now. That's right, I am. Okay. You've seen her on VH1 E. You read about her on some of the largest publications in the world. It is Natalie Ika. Welcome to Come Back with Erica Cobb. Yay, thank you. Now, I want to start with this because obviously I've been um, stalking you a little bit, um, like in a good way, in a good way. But in an interview with Style Salute, they focused on you turning a setback into success. What does turning a setback into a comeback mean to you? Oh, wow. Um, that's a great, great question. I don't even remember what I said. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I would say that, for example, when it comes to Ecoactive. Um, we have had many setbacks, many, but we didn't allow that. And I say we, myself, and my business partner, we didn't allow those setbacks to to determine our future with the company. So, if anything, we just take that and we learn from it and grow, and then make sure not to make the same mistakes. So, um, and then the next time around, we know, okay, we're not going to do that again. This is what we're going to do now. And, and then pursue to continue on, basically. So that's that's how, maybe that's perhaps what I was saying, but that's, that's how I uh, interpret it. Well, I, I appreciate that because even though, and I'm telling you now, this is not an ad, um, I am wearing all eco-active from head to toe. Um, the line is amazing. And for somebody who lives a lot of her life on you know my free time in active wear um i appreciate the comfort but i appreciate the thought about the design i appreciate all the little details um those are the things that make me as a consumer feel like i'm thought of so we're really excited to see what eco active comes up with next but for you personally I can't help but think that even the strongest, most fabulous women, or you know, men too, out there, um, have these moments where we're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this anymore. And then you add for someone like yourself, a brand that is really a brand and profession that is the foundation is strength. So how do you offer yourself grace when you're not feeling at your highest point? Oh wow, that's often, to be honest with you. Um, especially now that I am uh, dealing with being perimenopausal. Um, so I feel tired a lot. And I know I see my doctors and I'm like, oh, you know, this is good, this is good. But I'm like, but I feel so tired. So I've been seeing a nature path to help with that. And I just now just have to like feel, you know, like I used to be in the gym all the time and it was like, oh, my God gonna go work out and this is my happy place and it's so much fun and yes I'm like and I'm seeing all these results and and it's just something I do because it's part of my life and I've been doing it for so long and it's just it is who I am and it still is but I get less motivated mm -hmm. so it might take longer and there's days when I just don't feel like it um and instead of you know, kicking myself for it and, and feeling depressed about that or feeling bad about myself. I just am like, you know what? Maybe today is just going to be a walk or maybe today I'm just going to take the time, the day off, you know, and then tomorrow is another day. 
and or maybe I'll just start off slow and just do a little something and then who knows what that'll turn into. So I'm not going to get mad at myself for not working out every single day. I don't work out every single day. I don't. I do have to give myself time to recover because that's just what my body needs now, more so than it did before. And so um, if anything, I just try to love myself more in a way where I just well, you know, like, okay, today is a day where I don't feel like I don't want to, I don't want to move. I just feel tired. I'm just going to chill out. And that's, that is what it is. And then tomorrow maybe I'll make up for it. But, um, I just feel like not every day is going to be a day where you feel like you're just going to, you have the energy to just jump off of walls. You know what I mean? That's just not going to be the case. And you can't uh, beat yourself up for that. Um, if you miss a workout, okay, you miss a workout. Tomorrow's a new day. Well, girl, um, you have been incredibly generous because um, I know that you you deal with superstars, okay? But you are giving us a little sample of a comeback to Renewable Energy Fitness Edition where you're going to demonstrate uh, some things that we can be doing at home to uh, help out our glutes. Okay. And I'm going to follow along. I, I'm just going to pray that you, you do not hurt me too badly. <laughs> But I'm going to follow along, so uh, let's get to it, shall we? All right, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to put you through just a quick little five-minute workout just to show you some of the moves that I created for Best Bet Ever from Equinox. Um, nice. I'm going to show you a few of my top moves just for the band. It actually starts off with band work, and then it goes into gliding, and then it goes into some strength. All right, so let's stand with our feet about hip distance apart. <clears throat> what you often will see is this here on Instagram. I don't want to see that and everybody's trying to do this thing. So let's just keep our feet about hip distance apart because what we want to do, and I know your band is super tight, is we want to maintain tension, okay? So keep that tension in the band. Your ankles are going to be just below your knee, above, above below your knees, okay? So we're going to laterally step to your right, your right, my left, okay? For four, ready? You're going to step, you're going to keep your knees pushed open against the band, give me one more, and then take it to your, uh, your left, my right. And then I want you to sit back, so you're going to hinge, keep going. You're going to hinge at the hips, so from the side it looks like this here, okay? And when you step, again, try not to let your knees collapse. I want your knees to be pushed out against the band. Keep going. How's that feeling? It's feeling like a workout. And then you're going to give me singles, so step, step. Still keep those knees pushed out against the band. We have eight more, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, hold the middle, drop and pull. So you're gonna squat and pull those knees open. And notice I'm not letting my knees collapse. So pull those knees out, feel that band working. Give me eight, seven, stay back in those heels. You have four more, three, two, hold it down now, just the knees. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, squat and pull again. For those of you that are doing this with us, you should be feeling it burning already. Woo -hoo. I purposely put on a light band so I can keep going. Because when I'm teaching these classes, I have to stop sometimes and play it off. Two more, last one, and then get lower for eight. Right here, get lower, get lower, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Shake it out. <clears throat> All right, let's take it down to the floor. And I'm gonna have you come down to your side. We're just gonna do a couple things on your side and then face down. Okay, so you're gonna take that top leg and then you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna kick it back up towards the ceiling. So hopefully, let's see if you can do that. How far can you extend your leg? Good, can you do that? Is that okay? Yes. Okay, there you go, push. Now kick back behind you at an angle, squeeze that butt, feel that burn. Keep going, give me eight more. Seven, can you straighten out your leg? That band is heavy, huh? Four, <laughs> three, two, last one, hold that leg straight, and then I want you to lift up and down right here. So straighten out that top leg that you have there. Good, and try to keep it behind your bottom foot. So let's keep that top leg behind your bottom foot. Give me four more. Three, two, and then hold it, and then circle back. Right here, keeping that leg straight. So you're gonna circle up and back, six more. Five, four, three, two, and then one, and then take it forward and back right here. 
Woo! So I want you to lift up. I know your band is super tight. Super, Erica. Two more. And then hold it here. Let's see how well you do with this one. Clamshells. So you're going to lift that top knee off the bottom. Oh. One that you typically would get from a PT, a physical therapist, to help strengthen um, your glutes, like your glute medius, which is really important to have turn on when you need it. Keep those abs tight, exhale, and you never want to do this. Don't ever let your leg just collapse down for those of you watching. Make sure you control it. This is the eccentric coming down. Exhale up, inhale down, eccentric right here, concentric. Two more. Last one, and then let's hold it up for eight, seven, pull up, pull up, four, three, two, and release. Woo! Oof. And then face down now, so you're on your hands or elbows and your knees. We're just gonna do a few things and see how well you do with this one, Erica. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> All right, I love to torture. All right, right here, so push back and squeeze the butt, right? You're all the way full extension. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Push. Try to get me a full extension. Squeeze that butt. Squeeze, squeeze. Come on. Four more. Last three. Last two. One more. And then hold it there. And then tap it down. Up for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it. Bend that knee. And then drive it all the way up. All the way up. Squeeze. Squeeze that butt. Woo. <laughs> three more. <laughs> Last two, and then you're going to hold it, cross it over, up, cross, and then down, up, cross, up, down, up, cross. Good. Let me know if you're feeling it. Oh, my God. <laughs> last two. Mm -mm, last one. And then hold it here, and then up, right here, up, out, and up. So you're abducting that knee out to the side. Keep going. <laughs> out. Yep, that's it. Three more, two more, one more, and then pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> okay, Natalie, you didn't have to, you didn't have to do all that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tried so hard. I tried. You did it. How do you feel? How Actually, you feel? I feel really great. Um, I'm very surprised by how great of a workout I got in just that spot. I mean, at one point, you did see I tried to lay my head down on the little. <laughs> <laughs> well, Natalie. Eco, thank you so much for coming back with us on Come Back with Erica Cobb. And thank you again, sis, for that generous demonstration. Because, you know, in order to get with Natalie, you, I mean, she, the, the girl's bad, okay? The girl's uh -huh. bad. So for more exclusive content on Natalie Eco, check her out on my online home, comeback.tv.